Hey gardeners, in today's video I'm going to be showing you exactly how I build my low pressure aeroponic five gallon tower garden. I really believe this is the best DIY build that you're going to find. I mean the amount of root space uh, available in this garden, the fact that there's no adhesives, no glues, nothing foreign in here. Everything is just molded and comes apart really easily for cleaning, goes together really easily. It's aeroponic and you can grow anything. I'm going tomatoes, cucumbers, ball peppers, watermelon because the amount of root space in here isn't going to limit you. Uh, this is a real tower garden for people who are really trying to grow hydroponically and before I get into the step-by-step -step build I made you a free guide to go along with it if you're planning on building this yourself which I hope you are you're definitely gonna to want to download that guide it's in the description box below just click the link and it'll take you right to it okay so now let's go through step-by-step -step exactly how I built this garden first we're gonna screw the half-inch adapter into the pump now this allows us to attach the half-inch PVC pipe directly into the pump and then we're gonna place the pump in the bottom of the five gallon bucket. Then we're gonna drill a half inch hole in the lid. Next, we'll place the PVC pipe into the pump and then put the lid on the bucket through the PVC pipe. And then we're gonna measure up from the lid up one foot up the PVC pipe where we're gonna drill out our holes. So we're gonna drill four, five, sixteenth inch holes. The best way to do that is just to drill one straight through to the other side and that'll be two holes and then go on the other side and do the other two. All right and then we're going to go back to the lid and drill a bunch of holes in the top to catch any leakage. Okay so now in the bottom of a separate bucket we're going to drill a half inch hole top dead center and then we're going to work that bucket down onto the PVC pipe and on top of the lid that we just put on the first bucket. Once we have that secure and where we want it, we're going to drill out a one and a half inch hole in the bottom of that bucket and in the top of the first bucket. So it's going to go all the way through. Then I grab my heat gun and I warm up the whole area because that's really the only way that we're going to get this one and a half inch coupling through the hole is if you make it much more malleable. Push it down in there, be sure not to accidentally push it through, but make sure it's a nice snug fit. And once you have that in there, you basically have a layer done. Now we can just repeat the process until we've reached the desired height. So my garden, I did three buckets. You can do as many as you want, but at this point, now we're gonna have to start cutting our holes for our net cups. So I decided to do the holes uh, to fit two inch net cups. I feel like two inch net cups are the ones that I most universally use. I haven't tried making these for larger net cups. Uh, I would recommend just sticking with the two inch net cups because you can pretty much grow anything that you're gonna be able to grow out of this garden in a two inch net cup. So now what you're gonna wanna do is go around the garden and draw out two inch lines horizontally where you're gonna wanna put your net cups. And then go back with a Dremel tool or in this case I use an angle grinder and you'll just cut that line out. And now we'll grab our heat gun, put it on high and we're gonna heat up five to six inches above the cut. And I'm aware that's gonna get into the rim of the bucket, so we actually need to heat the rim of the bucket a little bit, because we're gonna be molding that in too. So we heat that area um, significantly more than we're gonna heat the bottom. We really only need to heat the bottom about an inch under the cut. Um, that's gonna be pushed out, and the rest is gonna be pushed in. So in order to make it as, uh, as horizontal as possible, we need to focus on heating the top. Now once we see the, the sheen change to more of a glossy finish, that means it's more malleable and be very careful, it's extremely hot. And we're gonna grab our Mexican Coke bottle. That's what I'm using here. I think any soda bottle should, should work if it's a fairly slender top like this. And we're gonna press the mouth of it against the opening and push in as we're pushing down and then also pressing against the back of the bucket once we reach the, the label area. Now we're gonna hold it with both hands against the back of the bucket for about two minutes. This is an area where you can really mess up. Um, I had a lot of practice buckets and this is, this is the problem area. I wasn't patient enough and I didn't hold it there long enough. Um, and then I also found that if you're doing a lot of holes, it's good to go back and kind of reshape your holes after you have them all in place because when you do one next to another, it tends to kind of pull the first one out of, 
its little cylindrical shape there. It might make it a little more oblong. But if we just go back and heat that up and kind of reshape it one after another, it takes a bit more time, but you're gonna want it to be as, uh, as round and precise as possible. All right, so after we have our hole, we're going to grab something sharp like a knife or some scissors and score uh, a line on the back of the hole. Make sure it's nice and deep. This is where the net pot, the net pot is going to click into. And you'll see when we're planting our garden just how crucial this is. Uh, without this, it's really easy for your plants to just fall right into the garden. So make sure this is a nice deep groove for the net pot to click into. And at this time, I'm gonna go to the very bottom bucket. And as high up as we can, we're gonna make one more hole. This is gonna be our access hole. This is where we're gonna check our nutrients. So make this one as high and close to the top of the bucket as we can so that we get as much water in there, as much volume into the bottom as we can. And then once we get to the top, we're just going to top off that half inch PVC pipe with just a PVC pipe cap. And then if you want to take the garden apart, that PVC pipe cap is kind of the lock. You can't really take the first bucket all the way off unless you remove that PVC pipe cap, which really shouldn't be too hard to do if we're not using any glue. One more thing to be said is these grooves in the top of the lid here are actually kind of crucial for catching any drips and spills that come out. We'll set our pump to 15 minutes on and 30 minutes off. And then we're gonna plant our garden. I really hope this video and guide were valuable to you. Uh, I really look forward to seeing your builds and successes in my email and over at humblegrowthhydroponics.com as well as any questions you may have down in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's keep growing together. Mm -hmm.